All right, folks, so if you head out there for today, go ahead and enjoy. Enjoy the day. It's nice. It's shaping up to be a really nice one. Of course, it's very busy on the road, so that's where you need to think. You know, just give yourselves a little bit of extra time. The good news is the roads have dried up nicely, so there are no major worries out there about the roads being slick or anything like that. Now, I am looking at this little tiny impulse that wants to come across the mountains. That's one of the reasons I am going to go ahead and leave in an ever so slight chance of rain may take it out before the show's over. Let me look at a few more models and I may adjust some things. But for right now, the last little bit of moisture left in our area would probably be over right along I-95, maybe Turboville, Maysville, maybe a sprinkle, but generally everyone else is dry, especially as we head up towards Blythewood, Irmo, Lake Murray. The sun's out. Enjoy your day. How much rain did we get? Well, in the past 24 hours, we actually probably have the numbers a little bit higher than this, but about an inch and a half for us in Columbia and not too far from that in Lexington, which is absolutely perfect for areas up near Newberry, Winsboro. You probably were at about three quarters of an inch, so not half bad at all. It did take a long time for the numbers to start accumulating and start adding up, but once they did, we did get ourselves some good stuff and some beneficial rainfall. So where do we go from here? The front continues to move away from us, leaving behind a couple of little clouds. And again, the models are still picking up on a very small impulse that may come across the mountains that could produce a quick passing sprinkle. But don't let that stop you or slow you down from getting to the grocery store or getting your travel plans in place and going ahead and doing the things that you need to do for the remainder of the day. As we compare the temperatures we're going to feel to average, you're going to notice a difference. Now for today, still staying a little bit above average, but we slowly drop below average, not a whole lot, but below average for your Thanksgiving and your day after Thanksgiving shopping and then into the weekend, four to six degrees below the average daytime highs for the weekend will be in the 50s. Those morning low temperatures will be OK. We're expecting to be in 39 for you tomorrow morning, but then right around 43 or so as we head into your Friday and Saturday and then Sunday at 37. So the temperatures will certainly take a bit of a dip and they're going to do a little bit of a roller coaster ride, but you'll notice that the numbers are going to be cooler because of the front that's coming through officially tomorrow 61 degrees sun and clouds for your Thanksgiving day. Here's a look at that first alert 10 day forecast tracking 66 for today and then the below average temperatures start to move in 61 for Thanksgiving 63 for you as we head into your Friday and then over the weekend we'll have highs in the 50s. Those overnight lows will be in the 30s so it is going to be a bit of a chilly weekend for us into next week. We do see several days where the highs will only be in the 50s, but we have a few days to fine tune that forecast. But for now, enjoy your Thanksgiving.